documentation project at openoffice.org takes care of all the documentation for the application. That covers everything from the developer documentation, the really hard stuff, right up until the, the basic user information that you'd need just to use the application. It's structured in tiers. There's the introductory, the user information, the user documentation that teaches you how to use the application. Then there's the second level, the more advanced stuff that teaches you how to program with it, how to write macros, how to do the more advanced materials with it. And then you can go right up into the full developer documentation that teaches you how to write applications using OpenOffice.org and the UNO uh, backend that it runs on. The work is coordinated mainly, again, through the wiki. We really make heavy use of the wiki. Uh, we also use a mailing list, uh, the de dev at documentation.openoffice.org mailing list that uh, is, is quite instrumental in coordinating some of the new materials, letting people know what we're, each one is doing, things like that. The easiest place to start is on the openoffice.org wiki. That's a nice, simple place. All you need is a user ID. You can go in and you can review the documents that are already there. You can make small edits, grammatical changes and corrections, error, uh, sp spelling checks, spelling corrections. You can add examples to the code that's there if you're a programmer. It's a nice, easy place to get started. Well, I'd really like to invite people just to, who are looking to get started to just do some simple editing and reviewing of the documentation that's already there. And also, if they have a technical knowledge or technical background for OpenOffice.org, if they know something about a particular topic, such as writer or base, they could write uh, into the FAQs. They could even, if they're really ambitious, write an entire manual or contribute to the team who are already working on those different manuals. Mm -hmm.